Hey, what's going on everyone out there at YouTube? Sarah and I got back from Walnut Ridge Campground, uh, Newcastle, Indiana, this last weekend. And uh, we put together this cool little montage video of everything that we experienced while we were there. Wanted to share this with you guys. This is the first in what we hope to be a series of these where as we visit these campgrounds this summer, we put together a video. We give you our opinions on what we liked and didn't like, and we try to showcase the campground as best as possible. So, hope you enjoy. I want to gauge a campground will, will obviously be a lot of my personal opinion but I want to focus on the campground itself the aesthetics uh, how clean it is um, how nice the bathrooms are the office what kind of amenities they offer when you're there I also want to talk about activities and Sarah and I have a college level son so the activities are as important of a focal point for us but I think it's important to share those with you guys um, Walnut Ridge was not heavy on the activity side which again didn't bother us uh, they do have a fantastic putt-putt golf course which Sarah and I played on and had a, a wonderful time they have a in-ground pool that wasn't filled when we were there and for those of you that don't live in Indiana you'll know that we've had some just crappy weather for the end of April and basically the first half of May it seems like so they did say that the pool was going to be filled by the end of May for uh, Memorial weekend so that's cool and I will say I think I got some video of it I didn't go into it though they had a very nice camp or um, a play play area for kids uh, that looked really nice some of the great things about Walnut Ridge is they have a camp shop just in front. For those of you that don't know, Walnut Ridge is actually an RV seller. Uh, we purchased our RV there, which is why we camped there. So they have an extensive store, anything and everything you could possibly need from your RV for your RV there. Uh, and it's just a, a short walk from the actual campground itself. If there's something you need service-wise while you're there, you could actually go and request and they just come out to your camping spot, which was great. Uh, with our new camper, we had an issue with the sound bar and they come out, took a look, found out that it was just the sound bar was bad and they ordered a replacement, be here soon. So that, that was great, didn't have to uh, pack up or anything. Um, and it was only three or four miles to Newcastle, which has a Walmart and a Kroger and several fast food restaurants if you're looking for a change of pace or whatever. But Sarah and I made the comment that while you're staying at Walnut Ridge, you feel like you're in the middle of nowhere, but you're a short three minute drive from several things, which was nice. I think we ran out of beer on Saturday. Don't know how that happened. 
Anyway, so as far as easy, convenience, they definitely hit all the marks. They have some fun things to do there. But if you're looking for a lot of activities for the kids to do um, that the campground puts on, you're, you're not going to find it at Walnut Ridge. I will say there was a lot of nice people. We had numerous people wave, stop, say hello, talk about camping, campground. Um, didn't feel over the top intrusive or anything. It was just a, a nice community. You can tell that they've had a lot of people that stay there uh, throughout the season. So felt very welcome there. Uh, enjoyed the experience. ton of activities on the calendar. I mean, they only have one for August. They got a few for Memorial Day, Memorial Day weekend. Okay, we're gonna go check out the restroom situation here. See what that looks like. How are you? Okay. <clears throat> As I said earlier, the women's is closed for remodeling right now, but the men's is open. Oh, nice. Really nice. Okay. Very clean. All completely redone. Air conditioned. When you gotta poop and you don't wanna be hot because no one wants to be hot when they poop. Very nicely done. Wow, that's like real deal. Do we have hot water? Waiting, waiting, waiting. Not looking good on the hot water, folks. Uh, plenty of cold water. Just checking to make sure I had the right faucet flipped. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh, we're getting hot water, folks. Well, we should probably call it warm water. Eh. It would be a chilly shower, if I'm being honest. Wow, the shower area is really fancy smancy. Okay. Having some trouble, having some trouble. Okay, we're getting hot water out of the shower. Hmm, strange. 
you let you adjust. Oh, fancy shower. Not bad. Really nicely done in here. I mean, really nice. Bathhouse is fancy. Hmm. One of the nicer campground bathhouses that I've been in in my life. Hot water. Let's call it lukewarm. Like I said, they're still under construction, so they might be replacing the hot water heater as of now. It is only second week in May, so who knows. Yeah. So we had a pull-through spot. Um, new to this travel trailer, which is 32 foot long, so uh, I'm, I'm grabbing pull-through sites wherever I can just to build up my confidence a little more. But there were plenty of pull-through sites. There were, uh, those weren't as uh, shaded or wooded as the rest for obvious reasons. And they also weren't full hookup, which we didn't have a problem with. But they have a lot of sites that are back in sites throughout the whole property, which you can see a lot from the aerial footage that I've included that uh, were absolutely beautiful spots, all walnut trees, hence Walnut Ridge, or at least that's the conclusion that we came to. So they have a lot of really nice spots, and as I said, overall it was a very quiet campground. Um, we had some friends visit Saturday night, and we were out there till at least 11 or 12 at night. And we weren't super quiet, but we weren't noisy, and nobody said anything. But uh, you definitely can get some sleep when you're ready to get some sleep, which, which was a nice feature there. Everyone, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and at least got a little of the experience of Walnut Ridge. 
would love to hear from you on what you liked and didn't like in the video or what you would like to see me do more of or less of in future videos. The entire summer, every campground we visit, we plan on doing this and hope to build an archive. Because I know when we look for campgrounds, one of the first places we look is YouTube to see others' experiences. So hopefully this will help someone if you're in the area and you're looking for a great campground. I would recommend Walnut Ridge. I thought it was a very nice place. It was clean. It was friendly, uh, close to amenities. I think it's a great place. So if you like the video, why don't you go ahead and give it a like, or better yet, give it a like and hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for future adventures. I think uh, we've got a one week hiatus and then we're going Memorial Weekend. We've got a trip right after that and then we head to Gulf Shores, Alabama the middle of next month and we'll do a full review of Gulf State Park, which I'm looking forward to. So again, thanks for liking. Be sure to leave a comment, um, a question, whatever, and I'll, I will be sure to respond. Thanks.